Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! I'm so happy I get to play this deck. Behold, Magical Hats. Now, if you're familiar with Magical Hats, it's probably because you remember Yugi using it to shuffle around as Dark Magician and avoid removal spells in the anime. But did you know that Magical Hats is one of the most deceptively powerful individual cards in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh? That's right, this card that was used for an anime gimmick actually includes some text on it that's very frightening. So this card can be activated during your opponent's battle phase and allows you to choose two spell traps from your deck and one monster in your MMZ. You can special summon them as normal monsters in face down defense position. You set the chosen monster, if it's face up, you shuffle them around, and then at the end of the battle phase, they are destroyed. Now this is important because a significant amount of spells, even during this period, got really powerful effects off of destruction. For a time, this was the only way you could send a spell or trap card from your deck to the graveyard without resorting to silly gimmicks. I guess that implies that Magical Hats isn't a silly gimmick. Anyway, we are using it to set copies of Gear Town. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon an ancient gear from your hand deck or graveyard. And Oja Magic. If this card is sent from the hand or the field to the graveyard, you can add one piece of Ojama's green, yellow, and black from your deck to your hand. Now, what are we accomplishing with all that? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, we've got the Ojamas but they don't really do anything. They just kind of sit in your hand and potentially enable some sort of long synchro strategy by way of Ojama Country. Importantly, you just want extra material, and maybe you can de-incentivize your opponent from attacking and tribute them for a Caius. The Ancient Gear Galgatron Dragon actually attacks and therefore is a lot more important. So with that, let's get into the card by card. We've got two Dragon, two Caius, triple Ojama Blue. This is a really good card in general, uh, just allows you to get any two Ojama cards from your deck to your hand. Rescue Cat, these are all beasts. Uh, Summoner Monk, Raikou Lightsworn Hunter, uh, triple Super Nimble Mega Hamster. You really want monsters on your side of the field that your opponent is supposed to be attacking into, otherwise they'll never go to the battle phase. Triple Air Bellum, one apiece of black, green, and yellow. Card Destruction can proc uh, Ojama Magic in a pinch. Double Forbidden Chalice, triple Gear Town, one Heavy Storm, one Instant Fusion, double Ojama Country, one Oja Magic, one Pot of Avarice, triple Terraforming, Call of the Haunted, Fiendish Chain, Magical Hats X3, Mirror Forest, Torrential Tribute, and Trap Dust Shoot. In the extra, we've got a bunch of Synchros we are not going to summon. So with that, let's win this game. No cap. Because the hat is a cap. Get it? I gotta admit, I am still incredibly salty about last week. How did we lose? That was like a 90-10 matchup in our favor, but Joseph is so one with the jank that he is able to just ascend to levels we are not even capable of achieving. But... This time around, we are playing some true unadulterated jank. This is Fabled. Believe it or not, this deck has actually top 32'd a YCS. Yes, that's correct. And so there is something here, and I know there's a lot of people who love this deck, love this archetype. I will be honest, I have barely touched Fabled cards in my life. The only ones I even know remotely are Cerbero and then Kate Sith, which saw a very small stint of play in like Blue Eyes when that deck was good for about a month. I also do know Unicorn core because this card was used in I believe raccoon decks in like 2014 2015 there was a guy who went to my locals who would play this deck all the time so I had to be very familiar with what this card did and uh this card is one of the reasons to play this deck as a matter of fact because unicorn is crazy so we're gonna do the card by card if you've never seen a fabled card before like I have this is gonna be a fun learning process for you because we're gonna be going through this together so all the fables revolve around the mechanic that if they're discarded to the graveyard they trigger some sort of effect we've seen plenty of archetypes to 
do something similar to this, like Dark World and the like, but this deck does it with the aim to synchro summon and spam the field very quickly. So first up, we have Fabled Grimro. This one, if you control a Fabled Monster, you can send this from your hand to the grave, add a Fabled Monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of itself. So this allows you to search for anything which you might need. There are plenty of tuners in this deck, like Chawa and Cerbero, and there's also non-tuners like copies of Ganashia, so that way you're able to basically get what you need in a pinch. We also have Crust, which is another non-tuner that I forgot to mention, that if it's discarded, target another level four lower Fable monster in your graveyard, except this card, because it says other, special summon that target. So this is great because anytime you discard, you get to just plus, so you go even on advantage. One copy of Kushano. Kushano is just a tuner that allows you to recur it back to the hand if you discard another Fable monster to get it back. So that means it's a discard outlet while also making sure you have a tuner that's accessible. Triple Tengu. Tengu is probably the best honorary Fabled because it just provides you with constant fodder to go into synchro plays. We have a Sangen. Snipe Hunter is probably the best card in this deck because every time you're discarding a Fabled, you're going to be getting value because not only are you getting an effect off the Fabled, you're most likely 66% of the time popping an opponent's card, which is pretty nice. We have Fabled Cerberal, which if it's discarded, you special summon it. This is a level two tuner. And then we have Fabled Chawa, which is level one tuner that during the main phase, you can activate this effect, discard a Fabled monster. And if you do, special summon this card from your hand. So another discard outlet, which is fantastic. Also another tuner, which we need. Then the last Fabled is Ganeshia. This is just a level three that if it's discarded, you special summon it and it gains 200 attack, but it gets banished if it leaves the field. The last card is the Tricky. This is a card that is really never seen all that much play, but this is a perfect inclusion in a deck like this because you can special summon this card by discarding a card, which means if you pitch something like Cerbero, you're then able to get that to the field. You have an immediate level seven synchro play. That does it for the monsters, for the spells. Book of Moon card destruction makes sense in a deck that we're trying to discard our whole hand and just get a ton of value off it. Most decks around this time aren't looking to do that. Dark Hold, Giant True Nades, double instant fusion because again, synchro strategies. We have plenty of tuners to go into. We have access to in the extra deck, a three, a four, and a five. So that way we can go into the myriad of synchro monsters we have available to us. Mind Control, Monster Reborn, double MSC, double Pot of Avarice. We're gonna fill the graveyard very quickly with these discard effects. And then the Trap, Dust Tornado, Triple Reckless Greed is actually quite interesting because we are trying to be very aggressive with our synchro plays. And this gives us more fodder to discard as well. Losing the draw phase sucks, but I can kind of see why this is in here. And then we have the Solemn Brigade in Solemn Judgment and double Solemn Warning. The extra deck, we have the three instant fusion targets. We have Cataster, Ancient Sacred Wyvern, Black Earth Dragon, Brianak, Triple Fabled, Ragin, Reagan. I don't know how to pronounce this card, but this is neat because if you synchro summon, you get to draw it until you have two cards in your hand. I wish it just said draw two cards in all honesty because this card's already specific enough that it's not going to be played all that much, but it's nice because you're emptying out your hand with all the Fabled effects that this card actually allows you to refresh your hand and allow you to synchro climb just a little bit. We have a Guy Knight, the Force of Earth, a Scrap Dragon, Stardust Dragon, Fabled Unicorn. This card is a house. When you and your opponent have the same number of cards in hand, negate all cards and effects activated by your opponent, and if you do, destroy those cards, nullifying everything they have access to, and then one Trishula, rounding out our extra. And then the side, we have Double Side, your Double DD Crow, a Fabled Galabas. This card is neat because you can discard a card, target a monster your opponent controls with defense less than or equal to this card's attack, destroy that target. So that's this neat little removal tool while also being a discard outlet. Double Puppet Plant, double Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, double Chain Disappearance, double goes in Match, and double Malevolent Catastrophe. So this episode is probably going to be a catastrophe because as I said, I have never played this deck in my life, but I'm going to do everything I can to get out of the jank tank and get Joseph knocked down a peg. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Buddy, I'm just gonna say it. I'm still salty about last episode. There is no shot I should have lost that. Or what's but there to be salty about? Here you we are. You are the Jake. I don't master. know what to tell you. you I mean, are, you are the Jake. Skill master. issue. Uh, maybe in the future you will. Uh, you will give yourself to the power of Jank. Yes, simply. And I, playing the deck that I'm playing today, I hope so. But I feel like that's being eclipsed by what you're playing, which is an abomination and something that should have never been conceived by man. Uh, but here we are. It's history of Jank. People are probably excited for this one. Yeah, I, I would call this deck not an abomination, but an ojomination. Thank you. Uh, that was that was all <laughs> I prepared for this week. And with that, let's go ahead and shout the patron. It's Alex Kuckendorfer. Thank you for the support. Apologies if I butchered your name. Buddy, do you have the hand up? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with Odd. It is Odd. Number of hats, baby. Woo! All right. I was going to think it was the number of Ojamas you can search off of Oja Magic, but it works. I get to go first, so I'm not going to complain. All right, buddy. Good luck. Good luck I'm probably to you dead. Too. Oh! This isn't wow. good. This is not good. We get to draw. We get to draw. That does actually nothing in this current situation. All right. Made one. I got to think what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, enjoy this, by the way. Um, 
folks at home, you're going to get the abridged version of this. Uh, now's when I spend 10 minutes waiting for Alex to figure out the line. Yes, because, you know, I've played Fabled so much in my life. And, you know, truly, I think I, the comments should be as mean as possible. How could you not understand these completely intuitive combos? Okay, buddy, hear me out. I'm looking at my hand, and I know I'm probably going to get crucified for this. I, I don't actually think there's anything I can do Alex, with this hand. How do you not know the combos? You have to discard Grumblow for Skunglo. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This was my experience playing Fabled 2. Like, someone would sit me down and be like, no, 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 you have to discard Ginglar for Pinglar. And I'd be like, okay, sure. Then I'd open a hand, and it'd be eight guys I can't summon. And I'd go, I, I don't think there's actually anything I can do here. I think the saddest part of what you just just said is that I don't know if the names you are saying are completely <laughs> make-believe or their actual names. This is the but... first Scrimblo archetype for sure. Okay, we're we, uh, we're living. Uh, I, I'm I'm actually I'm actually not discarding anything. I did that by accident. I, I meant to do this. It could, could be, be anything. anything. Literally, could literally. be anything. Literally, that is all I am doing. Right. I swear to you, I don't think my hand is actually playable. Well, I've got <laughs> great news for you. I don't have much to do either. Let's go. Okay. One. Two <laughs> and back to you, Buckaroo. Okay, all right. Could be anything. Could, Could be literally anything. be anything. Ultra. Okay. All right. That's a good card. That I know what this card does, and it's a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. I actually don't know if that's what I want to play though. Uh, is it? What level is this thing? See, I need to like figure out like the actual <laughs> things the I can part. do with this deck. <laughs> is there combos that like, chain? Like, I have no idea. Okay, I'm just gonna do the the only play I know how to do. Summon idiot beat face. <laughs> Oh God! You're playing Tangu, dog. That's not legal. Come on. This this is this is the best fabled card in the oh, entire deck. On. Go ahead, buddy. Oh jeez. All right, that's pretty good. All right, time to start cheating. Uh, I'm gonna activate Gear Town. <laughs> sure. That shit's going to grave. I'm setting a card. Okay. I'll trigger Gear Town. That's fine. All right. What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? What's in here? Gajalgatron. Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, so because. Oh, this card is so good. You can't activate any spell traps till the end of the damage step? Oh. Crazy! All right, let's go for the set card. All right, it is uh, Shocker, Fabled Crust. More like Fabled Crusty. I mean, it's very crusty looking at my hand. All right, I'll draw. Anything in standby? No, no. All right, main one. What level is Gadgeltron 8? Yeah. I didn't even do anything with that. I don't even know. Is Star Eater out yet? I actually think I could do something if it is. Uh, no, it's no. not. That's unfortunate. All right, uh, so in that case, I need to actually start playing things. I think this card's actually supposed to be good, but I have no idea. That actually seems okay, but I'm not going to play that. Instead, I'm going to play Snipe Hunt. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, that's Do we fine. still have Pryo? I think we do, don't oh, we? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, we do. All right, we're going to do that then. Uh, we're going to pitch. Okay, that works. <laughs> This card also sort of works. Uh, this card is also good, so I don't think I want to get rid of that one. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Crust, Target, Gadgeltron. No response to this. Okay. Well, we're just the best player in the game, simply. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so then Crust triggers because it was discarded to the graveyard. I get to target a level four or lower Fabled and resurrect it. So I'll bring back the other Crust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, do I just keep going is the question? What is this? 32, 42. I should have attacked with Crust when I attacked with Tengu. Uh, I don't even know if you're playing real back row. You probably have the stupid dumb fuck magical hats, right? Well, uh, so I'll just, sure. I'll just give you a it. piece of information. Hats can only be activated during your battle phase. All the more reason to do this now. I'm targeting awesome. this one. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm just no, simply you're too just good. Too good. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just there oh, is, yeah. there we go. Okay. Uh, do we go three for three? Maybe that sounds pretty fun. Uh, sure. Fuck it. The, the, you know, we're supposed to be discarding the fables, right? Yeah, so I think we is, should just be it's doing part that. of the plan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're just going to actually. Mm, I'm not going to do that yet because since I have fabled Grimrow in my hand and I control a fabled now, I can discard this to add a fable from my deck to my hand. So I'm, I'm going to get a better fabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to just pitch that, but then I remembered this card has an effect. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll get the good one. Uh, we'll get fabled Cerberial. Uh oh. Now we'll do this. Okay. Pitch this, go after the back row. Sure. Please? Finally. Fuck. Okay. Well, it triggers Cerberal, so we get that back because it was discarded. Ah, that was so lucky that you missed that. Oh, my God. No! <laughs> that was so close. Oh. All right. Well, I get Tengu, yes, so it's not the end do. of the world. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. 
because I'm playing the best fabled monster yeah, in the game. Is, so we'll yeah. just get Tangu. We'll hit. Uh, that was going to be disastrous for you. I actually oh. can start to see why this deck was maybe actually playable. Go ahead. Right, stand by me. Uh, let's go. All good. One, two, three. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Draw. Uh, that's pretty good. Avarice off the top. You're <laughs> fucking with me, buddy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we're going to send back Snipe Hunter because I think it's actually limited. <laughs> uh, Tengu... I actually think I want Kushano Engrave because I could just add it to my hand at any point. That's a tuner as well. Uh, we will put back the Crust, the Grimrow, and the other Crust. I think I want both tuners engraved. Sure. Just to give me some level options. All right. Shuffle up. We'll draw two. Battle. Yes. <laughs> we'll try for it. I'll call here. Bring back the Gadgetron. All right. Can't do anything about that. Second main. I'm not dead. You have to eat through my Tengus. I'll pass. <laughs> You're not remotely. This card is so bad in this matchup. <laughs> this is like legitimately the worst card in the match. That, that's coming out. All right. Gadgetron in. Okay. So I'll take 13 trigger Tengu. Yeah. I will get another Tengu. All right. Back to you. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. I will dark hole. No, come on. All right, sure. I will trigger Tengu. Yep. I will get the last Tengu. Yes. I will hit for 17. Absolutely. <laughs> and then second main, uh, I actually have a back row this time. So I'll throw it to you. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Oh, my God. Card destruction. So the funny thing is, I too have card destruction. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you got instant fusion mind control. Oh, okay. So that's, I'll draw three. That's pretty good. No, 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 no. Come on. All right. I'm going to normal air bellum. I have no response Go. to this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll draw. I'm going to normal the fabled Cerberal. You got it. I'm going to activate Grimro. Okay. Hitch it and add a fabled from deck to hand. Sure. I will grab a cross. Mm -hmm. I will activate instant fusion. Sure. I will summon dark fire dragon. Sink for Brio. Brio with Prio. Uh, I will pitch cross bounce air bellum. Wow, this is nuts. Uh, I will chalice the Brio. Okay. Uh, trigger Crus. Yeah. I will summon... Mm, do I want the two or the three? I can go into a six or a seven. Uh, we'll grab the Kushano. Sure. Sync these two. Uh, Ancient Sacred Wyvern. Okay. Yes, because it's a light tuner, so this does work. Okay. I'll try for it, I guess. Uh, I will fiendish the Wyvern. Sure. Rio in. Take what 11 here because you pumped me yes second main i will set a card and i will throw it to you stand by me sure probably could have won that turn if i actually used brio properly that's okay fine. uh heavy i will chain reckless greed sure i will chain reckless greed. oh god okay <laughs> all right i will resolve got? gear town just kidding it's ojama country <laughs> right. i'll set one and in draw, draw. phase i'll dust shoot <laughs> Ha! Idiot! Take my oh, monster! come on. All right, all right, all right. One down. <laughs> well, it didn't matter that you didn't get the combos off. Evidently. Oh, Evidently. Um, you know, it, it. as long as you're just slightly better than the opponent, I guess that's all that matters. I right? guess it is. All right, let's um, terraforming. Sure. I wonder what you're going to grab with this. Uh, I will grab Gear Town. Why would you do that? You have a better field spell you could get. That's true. Very true. I'll set two and then back to you. Okay. Ha! Uh, we'll draw. Well, at least I have more than one monster, I guess. Take a peek. Oh, these. Wow. This is. Uh, this is bad for me. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. I guess I will take the Grimblow. Okay. Grimblow is back in the deck. And we'll go to main one. Mm -hmm. Uh, sadly, that was the only non-tuner I had, so my hand is significantly worse. Just sitting on the gear town. Now you know everything I've got to, which is annoying. Yeah. I guess I'll just set and pass, like... Uh, same. Okay. Another dust shoot? We good? No, we're fine. Uh, that is equally as bad. I will just pass the turn. Oh, now you're fucked, buddy. It's, it's, it's okay. over. 
I have a set monster. Right, that's really all I had going for me. Uh, back to you. <laughs> well, it's better than what I've got going on because I have zero to do over here. I will set and pass. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, rescue cat. Oh, that's a real card. Yeah. Uh, I'll just warning this because I'm screwed if I don't. Okay. So. Well, the warning has left the building. Uh, and now I will call of the haunted targeting rescue cat. Excellent. Uh, don't think there's anything I could have done about that. That's fine. Uh, rescue cat. Let's grab uh, air bellum and oh, it's very funny. I actually could get an Ojama here. Is it worth it? Think about it. You could make a level five synchro. Wait, that's like actually good. Uh, I think I'm just going to get the second air bellum. Lame. I know. I'm sorry. All right, uh, uh, let's go to combat. I'll try to get in. I think because it's an emergency situation, I am going to reckless greed before you attack. Woo, you got it. So I take 32. You get to rip out two cards. So what are you going for? How about this one? Thank you for discarding this. Fine, oh, actually, fine. hold on a minute. That means you wouldn't oh, land the you're second right, hit. You're right. Oh. <laughs> Son of a gun. Didn't even think about that. All right, cool. All right, second main. I'll flip some in Ojama Blue. Sure. Uh, we'll go one, two, four, uh, Cataster. Okay. One, two, four, I don't know, Stardust? Who is there a good eight here? Uh, yeah, let's do Stardust. Sure. Uh, and then I will set one pass. Okay, uh, I will not draw. That's turn one on Reckless. Go to main one. Uh, we're probably screwed still have like no conceivable way to actually synchro summon so i will just set and pass uh draw for turn stand by main yes oh good well uh whew, uh combat it is sangan oh that's not great uh and with sangan i unfortunately cannot get grimro because it does not have less than 1500 attack that would be quite good well i'm gonna search one that is a non-tuner so i can try to get things going i'm gonna get crust sure uh, well, back to you. Uh, second turn on Reckless, so I get to draw again next turn. You know I have this True Nade, but the problem is if I True Nade, you get called the Haunted back, and that's a disaster. Uh, I will True Nade. I want to try to do something. Give me the call back. Yeah. I'm going to pitch Cerberal for Chawa. Yep. Trigger Cerberal. This comes back. Yes. I will trigger another... Shawa pitching Crus. Okay, all right. I'm still with you. Uh, I will... Actually, I can't do that because I don't have a non-tuner. So instead, actually, I'm just going to normal summon this Crus. Okay, still with you. I will sync these two for Fabled Unicorn. Yep. Uh, not particularly good, but I'm just trying to do something here. Uh, I'm going to set a card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sync... Shawa and Unicor. Right. And Cataster would be nice, but the problem is you have Stardust Dragon exactly, so it's not very good. Uh, I will go for Raygin. Raygin. Sure. And unfortunately, this just doesn't say draw two. I have to just draw one, which is dumb. Excellent. That got me absolutely nowhere. So I'm probably dead. So I'm just going to say we go to game three. <laughs> oh, man. I had two hats set. Man, that was atrocious. I had too many tuners. I didn't have a high enough starred non-tuner. And even if I cleared Stardust, like you had infinite back row and it was just probably never going to happen. So I hopefully just, I can redeem myself. I'm never going to be able I feel, to solve magical hats. I feel I, that I, the fableds are becoming one with me. Holy shit, this hand is... This is oh, a, we get to draw, this right? This is a weird one. Okay. Actually, that's not bad. That actually looks a lot better. Oh, can we do something really neat here, actually? I'm going to be very boring, actually, and I'm just going to T-set and pass. Snore. Hey, excuse me, sir. You haven't activated one magical hat. I'm trying. Uh, we're going to go terraforming. That's fine. I'll grab Gear Town. Sure. Uh, I'm going to set Gear Town. Uh, or uh, it could be anything. Uh, we'll go... Could be one, Ojama Country. Two... Back to you. All right. Uh, I'll draw. That is awful. All right. Main one. I will normal summon Fabled Ganashia. Sure. I will activate Grimro to add a Fable to hand. Still with you. We're going to grab Chawa. Still with you. I will trigger Chawa, pitching Cerberal. Trigger Cerberal. Bring it back. Yep. I will sink... 
Chawa and Ganeshia for Unicorn. Still with you. Then I will lip Tengu. Yeah. I will sink Cerberal and Tengu for, I guess, Brio. Actually, the Gaia Knight might be slightly better here. Uh, Yeah, let's go Gaia Knight, actually. Okay. Uh, trigger Tengu. Mm -hmm. I will get another Tengu battle. Uh, I don't know what I'm afraid of, so I'll hit with Unicorn. Yep. You get to add Ojamas to hand. I, I do not. In that case, <laughs> I'll attack. Yep. 1726. Oh, God, I hate Unicorn so much. It's such a fun card, isn't it? I'm uh, not I'll pass fun. you. All right, uh, stand by main. Uh, let's normal rescue cat. No response. Uh, I'm going to set Terra. I'll set a card. Sure. I'm going to activate terraforming. I have no response. All right, we'll grab Gear Town. That you will. I will send this to Grave to set a card. I will that is fine. Trigger Gear Town. Uh, let's go grab this guy. He is here. I'm going to activate Cat. Uh, we're going to grab Arabellum and Ojama Blue. Uh, and then we are going to sync them. Uh, we'll grab Cataster here. Battle phase. Uh, dragon in. So I take seven here. Mm -hmm. And Cataster in. And that will just kill my Gaia. All right. Uh, back to you. Okay, uh, we're trying. That was as good as it could have gotten. Go anything to stand by? No. Now that your card and effects can activate. Ah, uh, yeah, I know it. I think I have to reckless. Holy shit. Uh, okay, that's okay. That is that is okay. Normal snipe hunter. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, Pryo, I'm going to pitch. Crus, I'm going to go after. What am I most afraid of? I think I'm most afraid of Gadgeltron, so I'll try that one. All right, I'll Chalice here, targeting Snipe. Well, that is unfortunate. Okay, so Snipe is 19, or however relevant that'll be. Mm -hmm. uh, trigger Crus. Yep. Let's grab back... We'll grab back Shawa. Still with you. Mind Control Cataster. Yeah. Sink for Brio. Uh-huh. Brio, pitch both. Target Gadgeltron and your set. It's the magical hats! <laughs> <laughs> Trigger Ganesha. Yeah. Uh, battle, unless there's gores, I think we got it. You got it. Woo! Uh, oh my god. Wow. That was, uh, that was yeah, Snipe Hunter, Snipe Hunter got all that going because I had no discard outlet for Ganeshia or for Crust, so I just needed some way to just get things off. Mm -hmm. And... That was it. Uh, I got to see how stupidly broken Unicorn was. I forgot Unicorn was all effects. Oh, I thought yeah. it was just spells and traps. No, yeah. So when nuts. I hit the Ojama Blue, I was like, oh shit, he gets to get stuff. But uh, no, it's literally everything. Um, this was interesting. Uh, I yeah. got to admit, going into this, I was thinking that this was going to be much worse. And it was, but I can sort of see an argument here. Mm -hmm. Against the other top decks around this time, probably Maybe not. not but I could see this being like a rogue pick that no one would really know what the fuck is going on. And you can just synchro combo out of nowhere and just get all these neat little synergies. So eh, I have a bit more respect for this now. Uh, I have a lot less respect for mine. Um, boy, <laughs> I did not understand how bad Magical Hats is. The fact that you right? can only do it during your battle phase and uh, you have to like have a board of monsters that like don't necessarily die uh it sucks yeah it means your opponent has to not have cleaned the field before battle phase and you have to be on like exactly a raiko or an ojama blue because the other monsters you summon uh things like powerful synchros like cataster or really powerful monsters like ancient gear galgatron dragon they won't attack so you won't get nope. the fire hats this is yeah. a miserable card and the payoff of course is um Oja Magic and additional copies of Gear Town. And, you know, as this match showed, uh, Ancient Gear Galgatron Dragon isn't enough to win the game on its own. I don't know how three copies of Ojamas will improve things at all. I'm so depressed because I remember when you and I were looking at some of these fan submissions, we were hyped when we saw this stack. We're like, this is so fucking cool. We have to show this off. 
just not a spectacular performance. And that's probably just due to the fact that, like you said, Magical Hats just kind of sucks, right? Yeah. People played it in, like, what, Harpies later on when, like, Hysteric Sign was released in, like, Legendary Collection Joey just because of that stupid interaction. But... I don't know. Uh, I am very disappointed because given like the era and time that we're in too, you would think the format would be just slow enough where combat was still relevant enough that you would actually be able to trigger this card. But I don't know. I guess not. I feel like it just, ugh, it's it sucks. I wanted to see this deck work and it just didn't come to fruition. I think we're seeing that the deck maybe doesn't work. Uh, maybe it is garbage. <laughs> but uh, that is maybe. also the, uh, the kind of constant refrain from this series. So... It is what it is. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So big shout to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Tim00x3, Chaotic Meatball, MBT, Play Medulce, Eka, Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Blades, and Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Lou, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Phoenix the Immortal, Cody Bretch, John Two Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet, Give Me Speed Reuter, Give Me Death, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Matthew Brady, Matt MBT's Gamer Word Pass, Tom Russell, Twinkle Muncher, Why Read Cards When You Can Just Click Buttons, Valen Jackson, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say Alpha Tribute Ben 10, Helios 515, Thank You, Simo, MBT Gage, The RJB Zero, and Ruxin 34, MBT Fans Scare Me More Than COVID, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Tyler H, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, Mike Ty, Rev Skinner, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and The Wandering Doomed Are Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by all communities soon. Cancel by all committees soon. Cancel by all players soon. Not reading cards makes the game interesting, and you know it. The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT, Hunter Reed, and Shrugs. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.